Hello, good morning. It is Monday. It is miserable outside. It's so dark, it's so cold. So naturally I'm feeling tired. <laughs> anyway, today I am working on the HPLC. I'm going to be purifying a sample and I'm going to take you guys along with me and show you the process if I don't get too shy speaking in front of my lab colleagues in the lab today. So let's get started preparing the mobile phases for the HPLC. This is why it's important to clean the column because these are peaks which are coming out which could be some compounds from the sample before which was running so always wash your column before you start your HPLC purification guys always wash it please ignore the sound of the centrifuge but I'm annoyed because I ran Axel's sample over the weekend on the NMR and there was a lot of confusion about who was running their samples and what was happening and it was very last minute that we put our sample on but I'd already put it into a different placeholder in the NMR and I forgot to change it when I added the sample later on so that means that the sample was not in the right position and it basically did not run after all the fuss I went to to try and get that sample ran over the weekend not the news I needed on this Monday Anyway, I'm waiting for my sample to centrifuge and then I'm going to start running the HPLC. So, I have dissolved the sample exactly how I wrote it in my notes and as you can see after centrifuging, it's not soluble. So I don't know what happened. Uh, I'm going to need to dry it and then dissolve it again. So I'm going to be starting the HPLC way later than I wanted to. Again, apologies for the sound of the centrifuge, but I am now centrifuging another sample because the other two samples that I wanted to work on were actually frozen in DMSO. So I need to evaporate the DMSO using the freeze dryer before I can work on those samples. So because I have the HPLC booked for today, I really want and need to use it. So I found another sample, which I also need to purify and I'm going to work on that one today but yeah this is just your classic monday vibes nothing is going right uh not a good start to the week hello i am back in the centrifuge room again and centrifuging more of my sample to isolate. So I've literally been manually collecting all of the compounds that have been eluting from the HPLC. So it's been a bit boring. I have caught up on you some YouTube though. I watched uh, Anne's video. I'll link Anne's channel in the description box below, but Anne also does PhD videos here on YouTube. So I caught up on her video and yeah, I've been watching other videos, been watching TikToks, been listening to music. So it's been quite relaxing, but also kind of boring at the same time. I would automate the HPLC run so that it'll collect the peaks for me automatically during the night. But the retention times of my peaks keep shifting, which means that the times that I set for the peak collection won't be correct um, and my peaks will keep shifting, which means that I won't collect all of my peaks, I might get overlap and I'm trying to purify a sample and you do not want to be collecting 
half of one peak and half of another peak because the retention time has shifted. So I'm just going to manually collect and over this week and next week hopefully I can get this sample completely purified and hopefully get some pure compounds. Cross your fingers for me. Okay, so the frost is pretty because it's so sparkly. Like, look at that. However, when you can't get your door open <laughs> to your car, that's not so good. <laughs> uh, now I need to defrost the car also so I can actually get to the university. Hello, hello, happy Tuesday. So the agenda for today is that I'm going to be teaching Axel how to use the HPLC. So that's the instrument that I was using yesterday. I also need to prepare overnight cultures because we're going to run the bioassay on Axel sample for his project. And I have a meeting about a potential paper that I'm writing with someone, which is a secret little collaboration. So I've got that as well. So it's going to be a pretty busy day, but it's going to be mainly made up of training Axel. So let's get the day started. You ready for your moment of fame? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Hello. Axel, yes. what are we doing today? We're doing an HPLC. An HPLC? Yes. Yes, we are. I'm training you on how to use it, right? Yes. <laughs> hey, Axel's first HPLC at the NBC. No, it's actually the right one. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, it's later in the day. I've not been very good at showing you guys what's been going on today. Oh, it's been busy. Oh, sorry about the squeaky doors. Yeah, I've been training Axel how to use the HPLC. Things were working out nicely. We thought that we had a pure compound, but it actually turns out that we don't really know. We just don't really know what's happening. But it's not going to plan and we were going to automate the sample collection to collect the peaks and purify, but it's now four o'clock and time is ticking and the method's not working. Anyway, in the meantime, I'm going to put my bacteria into liquid media to make overnight cultures for the bioassay tomorrow. Excuse the noise of the shaker, but here's all my stuff. So I'm going to be putting the liquid media into the falcon tubes and then transferring my... Oh, if it's gonna focus. Then I'm gonna transfer my bacteria into the liquid media to grow liquid cultures. I'm going home, it's five o'clock. I've been here since eight. We're both feeling a little bit demotivated because things did not work out as we had liked, but it's okay, tomorrow's new day. Hello everyone, it is Wednesday at 2.30 and I have not vlogged very much today. Um, I was basically in the lab at eight, helping Axel set up the samples for the bioassay. I plated up all the samples for the bioassay and then I came home because I'm now working from home on my paper and just did a research integrity course, learning all about research ethics and protection of data and all of that fun stuff. Um, but I have some exciting news. So I'm going to California. I had mentioned it before in a previous vlog that I wanted to go to this conference in California next year and I was approved for my application so that's good. I still don't know yet if I'm doing a presentation or a poster or what that situation is but today we actually paid for the conference and I formally registered for the conference so yeah I'm super excited. I have not been to California before and I'm really excited to go to an international conference for the first time in like two years so that's some good news. But yes, for the rest of the day, I'm not going to be doing anything interesting. My supervisor sent back my review paper uh, with comments and edits. It was just a first draft, so there was a few things that I was like asking him. So I'm going to sit and do some of the edits now and make some of the figures. And then that'll be me until tomorrow. So I'll tune in tomorrow morning. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Friday. I was rubbish yesterday and did not vlog at all, but I was in and out of the lab. I did a couple of TLCs to test um, suitable solvent systems to do a column on one of my samples next week. And I was just editing my paper, so it wasn't really anything too exciting anyway. I also spent my evening last night preparing some dishes for our lab Christmas party. 
where we were supposed to all be bringing a dish from our countries because we have a very international lab so it always makes for a really fun buffet style event however last night quite late we got an email from the university basically telling us to cancel any christmas parties because of the new um, announcement we had from our prime minister about the situation going on in the uk at the moment so that's unfortunate that we didn't get to have our christmas party this evening however i've just come back from the gym and i'm now at home and i'm going to resume my paper editing i think i was in the lab this morning i did a few bits and bobs again nothing too crazy i haven't really been too motivated today and yesterday and i think that's because i'm coming into the lab on sunday yes believe it or not i don't think i've ever been in the lab on a sunday however i need to use the hplc to purify my samples and at the moment we're on a one day per week per person kind of schedule because we have so many people in the lab at the moment there are a lot of undergraduate students doing projects we have erasmus students and we've got so many new phd students and we all need to use the same instruments and there's not enough time for us to do it. It's a bit frustrating because the HPLC is the final step in the purification process and that's the instrument we use to purify and find isolate pure compounds and I'm at the stage where I have a lot of samples I need to purify. So basically in order to reduce my stress levels and to actually get my work done I might need to start coming in on Sundays now and try to take a day off during the week. So Axel is going to join me on Sunday, we're going to try and make a fun day of it as fun as it can be sitting on the HPLC for eight hours collecting peaks by hand. I think we might vlog on Sunday, I'm not sure if I'll put it in this vlog or if we'll make a separate vlog but yeah we're just going to try and make the most of being in the lab on a Sunday I think. So before I close off the vlog there's just something that I want to speak about very briefly. You may have noticed this week that I have said various times that I'm tired or I'm not feeling motivated and just being a general moany grumpy person. What I want to speak about is how I feel in winter time. So some of you might be able to relate to this, but basically in winter time, I find that my mood shifts quite dramatically. Not just my mood, but my energy levels as well, my motivational levels, and just generally my happiness levels. I have not been to the doctor or anything, and I do take vitamin D supplements in winter time, as the darkness in winter time in Scotland is intense and the amount of sun we get is very little, and our daylight is basically five, six hours a day. I do have a lamp which I use for waking up. It basically is a sunrise lamp, so it lights up gradually and mimics the effect of a sunrise. So it means I'm not waking up and it's pitch black. I'm waking up to some form of light and that does help a little bit as well. I just wanted to point it out because I feel like I've been coming across very negative in the vlogs recently. And yeah, it's just a reflection of how I've been feeling really. And this happens every year. Like I say, I haven't been to the doctor or anything. It's just something that I know is going to happen and I try to deal with it in whatever way I can. I'm happy to say that today I'm feeling good, actually. I don't know if maybe the vitamin D from the last few days is kicking in. Yeah, so I just wanted to see if you're maybe feeling a bit down in the dumps or demotivated or tired now that winter has come, especially if you're in the UK and it's very cold and it's very dark. I just want you to know that you're not alone because I feel very much the same. Thankfully, the Christmas break is coming up soon and we can get some rest and we can try and do things that are fun to kind of lift our spirits and try and spend time with loved ones and yeah hopefully revitalize ourselves i know that mental health during a phd is a really big topic in general but when you have already challenging mental health problems from doing a phd and then you put winter in the mix with things as well yeah sometimes it's just not a very good time Okay, I think I'm going to round off the vlog there for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you have a nice weekend and I will see you all in the next vlog. Bye.